Hello, and welcome to Race the Sun. This is a game that I've had for quite a while, and it's just been sitting in my Steam library. I think I got it from some bundle long, long ago, in distant days past, and I didn't think it looked very interesting when I saw it. I, I watched some, I think Total Biscuit did a WTF is on it or something like that, and it just didn't look very interesting, but then recently, Mr. Kerchemak, the known and beloved, played this on a live stream. He's been playing a lot of Endless Runners, or he was back then, and this came up, and I watched it, and I thought it looked really interesting, actually. So, I decided to give it a shot, and I played it for quite a bit now. I sort of started to get a bit bored with it, but I figured I would show it off at any case, if you haven't seen it before. So... What makes this game special from any other Endless Runner is that the levels are sort of modular, and they're randomly generated with those sort of modular parts every 24 hours. So, basically, you only play daily runs, but you can play them infinitely if you compare it to something like Spelunky or Necrodancer or something like that. So you can practice the same levels over and over to get to the high scores, or you can just play it once a day, to play different levels and see how you do and stuff. And it also has a pretty interesting progression system where you have to do specific tasks like do 20 barrel rolls in one zone to get some points and then you level up and you progressively make the game more complicated and add more elements to it. And while the game is getting harder as you're leveling up, you're also unlocking more and more powers that you can use to get a better score and improve your handling and things like that. So, let's just get into it. I'll probably run a couple of runs, and we'll just check it out, and I'll try to explain as much as I can. There's gonna be... I've already done all the progression, I'm already max level, so it's gonna be quite complicated. If you're just getting into this, you've never seen it before, it's gonna look kinda crazy, I guess, but I'll try to explain as much as I can. So you can actually configure your ship here. You, you uh, unlock these as you level up your ship. And you can have just badges, I chose these eyeballs because they look silly. And then you can have some attachments, like attracting uh, power-ups and points from further away, and having more than one jump, which we'll get into, and things like that. Th these ones are really good, where you can turn faster so you can make more complicated maneuvers and stuff. So I have everything unlocked here, but let's just get into it. Let's hit play, and there's three modes I'll probably show you all of these, maybe. Maybe even the credits. I've actually never played these. Maybe I'll check them out. But yeah, let's just do it. We'll run through all of them, and I'll see if maybe I'll do more than one run per thing, and we'll just see how it goes. I have not played any of these levels. I... Oh, yeah, okay, I do have sound. It was very quiet. Is it quiet? I feel like it's very quiet. Hopefully it's not too quiet. Ah... Uh... I feel like I should probably adjust this. I'll just uh, run through a run for now, and then I'll check it afterwards, probably. Oh, that's an emergency portal. If you go into those, you warp to the end of the zone, the current zone, but you, of course, miss out on all of the, the scores and or uh, points and stuff. These blue things are called tries, I think, or tris, or trees. I'm not too sure. I should have gone right there. So... You just collect as many of those as you can, and you build up a multiplier that you can see in the top left. And right now I have 57,000 points, and getting these, I now have a times 9 multiplier, and that was a perfect region, and I can get some some pickups here at the end, and you just try to make your way through. This is all new to me, I haven't played this level before. I was considering recording yesterday, because there was a really interesting uh, uh, portal level, which I guess we'll hopefully get into. And by the way, I'm noticing right now, there's probably going to be some frame drops in this. I've done everything I can to not have any frame drops, but it just seems like this game doesn't record very well. I don't know what it is, I don't think it's my hardware, it's just something about OBS not recording properly. And uh, the game has like V-Sync that's enabled by default and you can't disable it, so it's kind of annoying in that respect. And I always go left here, because you get more of these points. If you go right there, you don't get as many. So there's a bunch of 
much of these modular parts that you learn, I am really running out of time. You're racing the sunset, by the way. Oh god, that is some massive frame drops, holy shit. Now I'm getting frame drops in the game as well, that's... That's curious, I didn't get that before. I actually could play the game perfectly, but the recording was showing up frame drops. I'm not sure what that's about. Hopefully that doesn't end up being a problem, but it might just... There might be some frame drops. I can't really do much about it. I was considering just recording in 30 FPS, but that looked so, so awful that I think no matter how many frame drops I have, this is probably better, just 60 FPS with this, than if I were to do 30 FPS. So I'll probably stick with this. Hopefully it's not too unbearable. Get some more of these. The yellow ones are boosters, and they also reverse the... Oh god, I'm dead. Yeah, okay, that was that was just my bad. It's just really quiet. So I got uh, daily rank 200 on that run. I can definitely do better, and that was my first attempt, so normally you would play more than once. Let's just uh, go out here, and I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take a quick look at the uh, audio settings and all that, see if I can twiddle with something. Well, the audio should be fine, as far as I can tell. Hopefully. I mean, I guess, I guess I'll find out. So, I'll just keep playing. There's gonna be some frame drops, there's gonna be probably bad audio. Whatever. I just wanna play this game, so I'm gonna play this game. So I'll do another run in this uh, normal mode, Race for the Sun, or Race... I, oh god. I keep wanting to say the sun at night, or Race... Wait, what was I even trying to say there? I don't know, Race the Sun. But yeah, I, I always try to say... Uh, or I almost end up saying, uh, the sun at night, or race at the sun, or race the sun at night, or something. I don't even know, because I played the sun at night, uh, recently. But yeah, so I died there pretty quick. Oh, what am I even doing? Okay, now it's not going very well. Yeah, it's, it's annoying. This, this is very strange. I swear to god, I, I postponed this, like, three days, looking into this frame rate issue, and I have yet to have frame drops in the actual game itself. It's always worked perfectly, but as I said, just the recording didn't show properly. Everything was kind of, kind of meh. But now, I'm actually getting... Oh, I should have gone right there. I'm gonna go through one of these, just to show you. Warps you forward, and I get some points based on my distance, because I skipped all that distance. I still get the points for them, but I didn't get any uh, boosters or points or uh, tries that I would have gotten if I had gone through the zone, so... Sometimes you might want those, sometimes you might not. And oh, oh, oh! I haven't shown you these jumps, the green ones. They're jump power-ups, you can get up to three if you have a power-up, otherwise only one. If you press the jump key, you just jump and fly up into the air, and you can chain them, so you can fly quite, quite a long time. And they're very good for just getting out of trouble if you, uh... If you're about to run into a wall, then you just quickly spam jump, and hopefully you get out of it, but sometimes even they can't save you. I'm gonna go right here just to show you, holy shit. Oh, a portal, sweet! But yeah, I only got two tries there, but here's a portal. These are apparently point to hexagon. These levels are apparently, uh, community created, and they're like, either randomly, or maybe the developer, like, picks a random pool of, of things? I'm not sure. Like, what kind of- oh god, I didn't mean to hit that. Damn, I wanted to stay in that. Usually, uh, the portal levels have quite a lot of points and stuff, and that's where you gain most of your points in the- on the scoreboard. So that's a bit of a shame. But yeah, I think either they might pick levels that they- they've checked and they know that, okay, these are good levels, let's add them to the- oh god, to the game. I'm not sure. Or maybe they just randomly pull highly rated levels from the workshop into your game? No clue! But it's it's pretty interesting seeing levels that other people have created. Yesterday was a really, really weird level with a Mayan theme, but there were just points everywhere. You just earned hundreds of thousands of points just going through that level, and it wasn't even that hard, so that was a very weird one, and the scores were highly inflated that day, as you can imagine. So, of course, everyone gets the same world, so it's not like you can get any better luck by getting a portal world that has better generation or anything than anyone else, it's all the same. But the world also uh, stretches, since it's modular, there's some sort of algorithm or something like that for 
the uh, terrain regeneration. So you can you can choose to go right or left. I could oh god, I could uh, I should have jumped earlier there. And those are bombs, by the way, shooting to the left and right. They're quite annoying when they hit you. They sort of blind you, so you're you're still alive, but you're you just can't see anything, and that's really frustrating. And usually gets you killed. But uh, what was I even saying? I don't remember. Probably nothing important. Bombs. They're bombs. Great. Ah, uh, anything else? Anything else that's confusing? I have a 25 multiplier. Great. There's some weird problems with hit detection in this game. Sometimes you run into these blue tries and you just don't pick them up. For some reason, even with the magnet power. So, oh. Hmm. I felt like I should have gotten at least some of those because of the magnets, but that was pretty bad. Okay, region 5. I'm gonna jump here. Oh, actually, I needed that jump power. I thought I had three already. Oh, I should have gone right there. Yeah, you want to get as many of those boosters as you can because they uh, reverse the sun a little bit, or reverse time, so you get more time before darkness sets in. And, oh god, oh god. If the sun falls to the, the horizon, then there's more shadows, more and more shadows as you go on, and then eventually... Ah, oh shit, I should have gone left there. I'm not playing very well. Damn it. Oh well. Uh, you want more... I mean, the, the lower the sun goes, the more shadows there are, and if you're in the shadows, then you slow down and eventually die, so you can't just keep going forever. So, you have to just try and pick up as many power-ups as you can to reverse the time and get as high of a score and get through as many zones as you can, and that's basically it. And, yeah, I guess I'll just show you these as well, and then maybe I'll call it for the episode. Kind of a bad run, kind of bad runs, I didn't really do very well, but at least I showed it off, I suppose. So, think you can do better than me? Then go for it! So Apocalypse is a mode that I really haven't played much, and it's basically just insanely hard modular levels where the sun uh, lowers or falls really, really fast and starts out at, like, dusk already, and it's very, very hard to get any boosters. It's really fast, you fly way faster than normal, and I'm probably gonna die in, like, two seconds. So we'll see. Booster already. Oh god, oh god! Okay, yeah, that's that's apocalypse mode. Let's try again. Let's see if I can get through this. Oh, I could probably just oh, 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 you can just go through the center. Sweet. Great. Uh you could probably also go Oh, that was a portal. I should have taken that. A portal is really good in this this mode because chances are you won't even get Oh god. Through the zone! Oh no, I'm dead! Oh no, I'm dead! Okay, I'm gonna try to go for that emergency portal next time, or this time. Because then you get points based on your distance, so even though you didn't pick up many points, you still- oh god, frame drops. You still should get pretty- oh shit, it was further to the left. You'll still get pretty far ahead and pick up a decent amount of points. Because this is just way harder to stay alive in than the normal mode. Alright, so I want to go, like, here. There we go. Alright, that's good. So now I have 72,000 points already. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh god. Got all those, at least. Holy shit, you fucking jerk! What? I've never seen that before! Oh, wow! The fucking birds can just... screw you over! Wow! That's insane! Alright, so... I guess I shouldn't go straight into whatever they poop out. That's not a good thing. Alright, so that's simple enough. So as you can see, you can you can just learn the levels. You can just play them over and over until you get them down. Alright. Yeah, fuck you, guy. Won't get me this time. But I'm not too into the whole... Oh god! Oh god! I'm not too into the whole just practice until you get everything, damn everything down perfectly. I don't know, it's just not that appealing to me, but this is a fun game to just get into once a day or a couple times a day, just see if you can get a decent score and then maybe get into the top 100 or something. I've been on the top 10 a fair few times when I was playing this more. I haven't played this too much recently, as I said, I've been getting a bit bored of it now that 
I don't have any progressing left to do. I already leveled up to the max. The the leveling part was oh shit, I forgot about that. The leveling was almost the most enjoyable part in my opinion. Holy god. I need some boosters. The sun is running out. This is bad. But yeah, the leveling was really fun doing things like oh, you can't turn right through an entire zone, like you have to only turn left through one zone to get powers. I'm not getting anything here. I feel like I'm in between two sets of modules or whatever, two modular parts, so I'm just not getting any of the the stuff. So let's try that like a one or two more times or something, and then I'll probably try the labyrinth mode, which is also pretty fun. Alright. Get some points here. Don't pick that up. It's not good. Oh, forgot about this. Get that. I'm gonna try to go... Nope. Nope, nope. I should have jumped there. I'm not jumping very well right now. I'm just distracted by all the talking and stuff. Normally you want to just instantly react by pressing the jump key as soon as you see something uh, that might kill you. By the way, another really nice thing about this game, which might sound weird, is that- oh god, green drops- is that it's a game you can play with one hand? Oh, forgot about that. And don't get me wrong, nothing fishy going on with the other hand, just- it's just nice to have that. There's some games that you can just play with, like, the mouse only, or the, uh... Oh, shit. I should have jumped that. I should have jumped that. I should have... Oh, damn. This is kind of fun. I should play Apocalypse more. Uh, but yeah, some games are just nice to play with, like, the mouse only, or just one hand. You can just hang back and relax and not misinterpret things. But yeah, it's, it's nice, I like it, so I guess I'll just mention that. There's only the, the left and right... Oh god, forgot about that. The left and right keys, and uh, the jump key. So you can just rebind those however you want, and that's, that's all you need, really. So for me, I just put the jump key on... Uh, oh, 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 dear, oh dear. I put my jump key on numpad zero, and then I'm just using... Holy shit! Using uh, the left and right arrow keys. Oh, yes, take me through there. Alright, so this is pretty good. This is going pretty well. Let's see if the, the bird gives me something good. Yes, it did. Good. Alright, got it. I'm doing pretty well on the sunlight part. But yeah, like Necro Dancer is another one where you can just play with one hand. And of course, like puzzle games. Yeah. As you can see, I didn't die right away. I was blinded. I should have jumped. When you get blinded, jump, because then probably you won't run into anything. But yeah, I got daily rank 132, so that's kind of cool. So let's go out here and show you the Labyrinth game mode. This unlocks when you get to level 25, I think. And it's a game mode where you can beat the levels. They have an end. The other ones just go on forever. You could get to zone 560 if you were good enough and had like 24 hours to spare. I wonder what happens if you start a run like 10 seconds before the reset. I guess you would probably keep playing that run, I guess, until you until you die. But yeah, Labyrinth is a much more zoomed out and slow paced uh, game mode where it's just about finding ways of navigating through the different levels and you pick up these, uh, these uh, glowy light bulbs. I thought these were bad to begin with, so I never collected them, and then I found out that, oh hey, they're actually points, so you should get them. But yeah, it's much, much slower, you don't have any jumps, you don't have any, uh... Oh, this thing is gonna turn there, you can see by the arrows where they're gonna block off. So here I have to go left, and it's, it's stuff like this, you have to sort of be quick to react to what's going on. Oh, shit, uh, this goes in the middle, I think? No, it was left, damn! You have to, like, quickly assess the situation and what's going on, and in that case, find which connection is not broken, and then trace it to the door that will then open. It's pretty tricky, but I've never actually beaten this, I've only played it, like, a handful of times. 
But again, I feel like maybe I should play this some more until I actually beat a level. And same with Apocalypse. Just playing it a bit more, seeing all the different modules or modular parts, because uh, in the normal game mode, I've seen everything. I've seen every single generatable terrain piece or whatever you want to call it. So... Okay, wait. Where is it now? It It's this one, yeah. Hooray, I did it. Great. Wait, I've seen all of that, so it's not really all that interesting to me anymore, just going for score. But this still has some appeal to me, because I can actually try and beat it and stuff. These ones, I don't really know what they're here for. You just turn one of them and they, like, alter the the background color a little bit, which is strange. You can play with blue, red, or green. Oh man, the frame drops are not helping. Yeah, this is very strange. I really didn't have any frame drops for me when I was recording before. And I, as I said, I spent days just trying to figure this out and couldn't figure anything out. The only solution was recording at uh, 30 FPS, which I just didn't want to do because it looked worse than this does even with all the frame drops, so... I don't know. I even tried recording at like 720p and lowering the in-game resolution to 720p and it just didn't want to record well, so I don't know. This game just doesn't want to record well, I suppose. I tried with DxTory as well, and I mean, I have an i7 4770K and a uh, Radeon R9 280X graphics card, so I don't think it's my hardware. My hardware should definitely be able to record this, I think, but I don't know. This game is just kind of weird, and as I said, it enforces V-Sync, so it's, holy shit, limited to uh, uh, 60 FPS, no matter how good your system is, which is a little bit of a shame, in my opinion. Oh, go right. I'm gonna die in one of these. Go left. Oh god. And yeah, you can see by the blocks where they're gonna roll. This one's gonna close the left. Okay, I'm doing pretty well. Let's see how far I can go. This... Oh god. This run. This run. This run. This run! Aw, oh, damn it. Damn. Rank 122. That's good enough for me, I suppose. So that's pretty good. That's pretty fun. I haven't beaten this, but you can beat it. I'm honestly not sure if... Your power-ups even matter in that one, because you can never get... Uh, you can't pick things up without running into them, so the magnet doesn't do anything. You don't have jumps, so you can't... you can't jump. The battery doesn't matter, because you don't collect... The sun doesn't, like, fall or whatever, go down in that game mode. You don't have any emergency portals, which, by the way, I didn't show you. It's just a pickup you pick up... You, a pickup you pick up, so that you uh, can take a hit and then you just get sent straight back into it again, so you can take a hit without dying, basically. And this one just makes you turn faster. I don't think any of these really do anything in the Labyrinth game mode, so there's that. I guess I'll just play the credits, see what it's about. It's probably quite boring. We'll see. Maybe there's pickups. Oh, you actually get points for this. And there's actually obstacles. Huh. And the camera is like really weird and shifted down. That's kind of interesting. So I guess you just get points, you can't collect anything, or maybe you collect Kickstarter backers. No, you can't collect the people. And, yeah, nothing around, so it is just this. Is there a leaderboard for this? Because that's kind of weird, if you just sit through it and then that gets you number one on the leaderboards. The first one who does it or something, I don't know. Oh, and yeah, this is how you do barrel rolls, by the way. Just hold left or right until you can see sparks down where my wing is touching the ground. As soon as you see sparks, just turn the opposite direction, and then you do a barrel roll. And you can chain them, like, hold on, let me see if I can show you like this. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. So if you want to do them really quickly, you hold left, then right, then right, then right, and you just keep tapping left once, but that's very hard control, and will probably get you killed. But yeah, that's pr 
probably as much as I can say about Race the Sun. Wait, Race the Sun, yeah, that's what it's called. I, I keep second-guessing myself on that, the title of the game. Hooray! Alright, well, I'm gonna kill myself now. Great. Oh, and by the way, hitting things reduces your multiplier by quite a lot, and lowers the sun by a decent chunk, so try not to hit things, I guess. And yeah, there's no uh, leaderboards for this. I'm, I'm just gonna try this again, because I want to see if you just... Oh, I see. So you just have to fit into one of these slots, and then the, the credits start rolling no matter where you are. Okay. Got it. Great. But yeah, that's, that's Race the Sun. I guess that's a showcase of it. There's also a bunch of workshop levels that you can you can play through, and as I said, the workshop levels are also in the portals, where you go through portals, you go into other people's levels, which is really interesting, and some of them are amazing. There was one that was sort of a Star Wars battle, just flying through the stars and with asteroids and stuff just flying past. It was It was pretty cool. And there's a level editor, you can make your own levels, you can submit them, and... Pretty cool game! I like it! On to the next one, I guess! Thanks for watching! Bye-bye!